small deals suck. They just do. <laughs> they do. They do. And I'm not, and I'm, not, I'm not trying to be mean or whatever. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm not good at doing the small baby deals. I'm just not, you know, I, I don't want to do them anymore. Someone might be listening saying, you just don't know how to do them. You know what? You're absolutely right. You can have them all day long. Take them. You know, here's the thing. When you're buying a C-class small deal, small deal, 22 units, 24 units, it doesn't take that many mishaps on that small deal for, for you to lose your entire NOI, right? If you have a busted up boiler, you have of the roof that, that, that comes off or you have to replace the roof or whatever, uh, or some other type of mishap that I can't even think of, like blown out water tanks, God knows what. Uh, and some of these assets, a water tank might cost 15, 16, $17,000. So you have that plus a, plus a boiler that goes out. You just lost your NOI on a 24 unit deal, really, you know? If, if your NOI is like 40, 45K, your NOI suffers, right? And those small deals cannot withstand the, the abuse, so to speak, of, uh, of, of the age that it has, it has to go up against, right? That's really what it comes down to. So basically what I, what I did, what I made the mistake of doing, well, I shouldn't say mistake, it just had to, it had to do it. You kind of have to, the only way you get started is you have to get into the small deals first. I would, I should have sold those deals off sooner than later is what I should have done, you know, because I'm not good at doing the small deals and not everyone is, some people are good. I have friends of mine that are, that all they do is small deals and they love doing small deals. And that's, that's their bag. They got a handle on it. They have teams that know how to do it. Super. They have systems, they have processes. They know how to do it. Great. I can't do that. I like doing bigger deals. Right. And that's the key is understanding what you want to do. I wanted to, I wanted to get to a billion dollars of assets. I can't do that 24 units at a time. Just can't do it, right? What I could have done and should have done is get into those deals, buy them, fix them up, make them great, cash flow them, get rid of them, go to the next one, right? Because what I'm doing then is I'm building a track record. And, I can, and when I talk to a broker, the broker asks me, uh, what sort of deals have you done? I can tell them, here's a deal as I've done. They're like, oh, okay, cool. You know, so it's like, it, it all starts with one, you know, and the same thing happens. It's funny with, with our net lease business, you know, they'll, they'll ask, uh, they ask my, when we were first starting that deal, uh, even though I've done at that point, like $200 million worth of stuff, they still ask, well, how many net lease assets do you have? Well, we're closing on a couple right now. It's like, pff, okay, whatever. It's like, even, it doesn't matter. If we've done 200 million of, of commercial assets. They don't care. It's how many of these dollar stores have you bought, which is kind of bizarre, right? But regardless, the brokers want to see that you've done this before. They want to see that. And for someone starting out, listen, even if you have to buy six units, just get started, do something. Just don't, just don't, don't overstay your welcome. Get in, get out. That's what I would do anyway. Some well, people can do those deals and be fine with it.